Uh, she got black pop aka okay, so sort of baby aka okay, okay. and i'm doing in so talk cv how y'all feeling on this tuesday morning i need to get some radio background music you know how the radio let me see that let me let me see what i could uh 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 okay feel like i'm at j cole house forest hill drive don't save her she don't want to be saved no yeah it is 12 p.m what time it's like i guess like looking like 34 degrees outside in the dmv area on a nice winter january morning baby i'm about to make me a nice chai tea latte anyways let's get into these hot topics question of the day is how do you go smack a nigga i'm asking for a friend <laughs> okay so this is the thing where I would smack at a nigga before and you know because I, I thought I was getting the choosing signals. Nigga was on me all week and I'm like, alright, I'm about to go on for the kill. Going for the kill. Just to find out that this man was married. And I'm just like, what was all that energy that I was getting this week? I was getting all the signs from the energies, all the universe, the one one ones, the two two twos, repeating da 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 da. Sometimes the universe be having your looking dumb. I'm like, universe, like, you told me to go. You sent me the signs. What's up? Why are you being weird to me? And, you know, and it's not even about being weird because, you know, being weird is definitely a part of the schedule. <laughs> but, you know, because I ain't trying to, you know, go another full year without no dick, first and foremost. <laughs> like, I'm at a point where it's like, yo. If it doesn't work out, I'm just glad I got hand. <laughs> but, you know, I still want to see what's up with the nigga. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. I judge myself a lot because this platform I have. And it's like, I don't mind compromising certain standards for the right reasons. Because, you know, I have spoke about, you know, sugar daddies and stuff like that. And this person is, you know, somewhat. He, he's older than me but not that older than me and it's like you're not gonna get the same treatment from a 60 year old man that you're gonna get from a 30 year old man and knowing certain things you know it's like and especially the way i'm going about it me being the one like i feel like it's gonna have to like make it known and with all the shit you talk about sugar daddies and using them i feel like a hypocrite then it's like oh well i'll be that you know it's like oh am i masculine and am i like you know i just feel like a hypocrite but you know when you really want to find something out all those standards go out the window so pray for me i'm just scared because shawty i'm feeling you like and this they don't even know it so i just hope before well should I wait for after Valentine's Day or before? Because it's like, you know, Valentine's Day is a lot of pressure. That's when you know where you really stand. <laughs> I mean, regardless, that's a pagan holiday. We don't celebrate none of that. But I'm a naturally romantic person. So certain things I'm just going to do because I just have to get that energy out. Like, I just have to, like, express, like, how much I like you. <sighs> But you know, we'll see how it goes. And I'm over here talking about that as if if I'm even gonna get chose. Who knows? I'm so scared. <sighs> Make sure you uh, put in the comments what I should say. How should I go smack at Shorty? Like I don't know. And it's like I don't know if I could really talk about relationship stuff on here because I don't want him thinking I'm sneak dissing him. But okay, I'm think I this is getting too long. Let's get into the news, baby. First, son of a duck, get, we have the spitting pastor, Pastor Michael Todd Hawks, spit in his hand during church service and rubs it across a man's face. Changing something and you don't see it clearly yet, but you hit. <laughs> And this is where most people would not face Jesus anymore. Look at his brother. 
He know he don't know. He like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? Receiving vision from God might get nasty. You mean, God, I just bought in crazy faith. I just bought my dream car. And now you're going to ask me to sell it back and ride in the hoop day again? Yeah, because the vision I'm about to give you, it might get nasty. Uh, oh, God. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Just spread it on his face like lotion. And do you, do you hear and see the responses of the people? What, what, what I'm telling you is how you just reacted. It's how the people in your life will react when God is doing what it takes for the miracle. So pretty much what Pastor Mike Todd was demonstrating, he was demonstrating in the Bible, Mark chapter 822, where Jesus healed the blind with his saliva. And they said that's his blood brother, but I don't give a f that's your blood brother. That's disgusting. And he did it for a reaction. And I'm not going to that church. This sermon did not make me feel closer to God. And word on the street is that he's done this before, but this time he went viral. Hopefully he don't f around and catch that Omicron from that nasty he did. And maybe if he does, he can pour some holy water on his face and do a just praise dance and maybe he'll be healed. And I appreciate and understand his message, but he did not have to stoop to this to do it. Like to me, I take the Bible as more of a metaphorical book you know what i mean not too literal and to me the message was the same way god will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies is the same way he will put you through strife and embarrassment and frustration and rejection to strengthen your character to test your faith if you're really for him so he can really put you on the right path of your purpose and i'm not gonna hold you i have definitely been slacking big time as far as my connection with God, you know, and recently, as I've noticed how my life has changed I, when I was slacking, the more I've been talking to him, the more my heart has become more open. And I've recently been taking certain people off my block list to repair certain relationships. I'm already seeing the difference in my emotions. Like just last week, I was talking about how upset and depressed I was. And once I started going, once I realized like how much I've been slacking, because I think that I'm God and you know sometimes you can get too lost in thinking that the power is all in your hands no there's a higher source sometimes people we, we try to play God too much and you will realize that when you don't have no friends and your life isn't going anywhere well that's what I've noticed and now that I'm tapping back in especially as an entrepreneur because sometimes you can get really too gung-ho on everything being about business 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 Sometimes it's okay that your friends and family is not your main audience. That's just your friends and family. You know what I mean? Yes, it's nice to get the support and no one owes you anything. But at the same time, you need to know how to differentiate that. And I felt like I got lost in that and becoming who I'm trying to become. And I still am not that clear about it, but I have a sense of direction. And that's one thing I noticed because even though they may not be 100% into what I do, at the same time, there's still great attributes as people and friends and family that stand out to you. And it's like, you can't forget that just because they may not be as supportive, even though you would really like it. But at the same time, you know, to each a own, sometimes some things do have to end because the expiration date has came, you know? And that's my take on that, you know? soon we're gonna have a segment for like the spiritual aspect of life and stuff because you know i'm into that too but i want to start off a little soft and light you know we will cross that barrier soon and yeah i was it just it feels good to get that off my heart anyway i just had to say that okay next on the docket next on our president is so f***ing stupid how f***ing stupid is he in my wild and out voice but even Dr. King's assassination did not have the worldwide impact that George Floyd's mm -hmm. death did. See, this is why I got to get my crazy pills now. You know, I hate to be the one to tell anybody not to vote, but the ancestors fought for it. And it's just like, all I'm going to say is, don't waste your time on nothing you don't want to do. Anyway, it's
it's like every day like they're making it a goal to say some dumb to get us to react some blasphemous and on of all days martin luther king day the disrespect can we impeach him like and i'm not letting nobody get past me with no goddamn maya angelou on the 25 cent knowing damn well don't anybody want to carry around a f***ing change we asked for harriet tubman on the 20 dollar bill what the f*** is y'all doing it's a dub f and trump ain't no better but at least he was cutting that check like kamala really finessed the f*** out us and you can tell people like biden and kamala when they speak it comes from a place of ego like how dare should we should how dare we question their judgment and even with the interview that kamala recently did with craig melvin on nbc when he was asking her certain questions like you could tell like she was processing right then and there like how do i say an answer that seems like i give a f when i really don't change goals to change strategy is it time it is time for us to do what we have been doing and that time is every day every day it is time for us to agree that there are things and tools that are available to us to slow this thing you can out. tell that was an on the spot answer to just shut this up like why is it so hard for them to admit that they don't know what the they're doing and then they want to get mad at us when we start asking questions like it's the wrong thing to do because let's be clear, Democrats are looking real stupid when it comes to these midterms. And just the election in general. It is time to do what we must do. And we're going to do it right now. Because you didn't do it, Joe. Anyway, next on the docket. Next on the docket, we have Ari Fletcher. Ari Fletcher has been called out for having the 19 on Christmas as to why she couldn't launch her nonprofit domestic violence organization recently she did an interview at the breakfast club and her fans pulled up some receipts let's get into these clips profit has this been something you always wanted to do or like yeah last year we really just started really getting into it i was supposed to do one um um for christmas but i got covid so i couldn't mm. do it hey turn up Trav. we gonna drop this shit money bag you and ari in the building get them turn out Ooh. And here's her day after Christmas flyer right alongside money bag yo's. You know, all of this could have been avoided if she would have just put her pride to the side and just clarified and explained. Because studies recently showed that people who are obsessed with celebrities are less intelligent. And it's showing. It's definitely showing. And if she would have just clarified the fact that that clip in her interview was not about glorifying domestic violence she was really highlighting about the growth from her interpretations of love in an abusive way none of this would have been as big as it was she would have still lost her fancy deal but you wouldn't have to go up to breakfast club and you know act like you care about people who are going through domestic violence when you really don't let's be clear you don't because what she said to that girl on that live it definitely was up oh when i was um in a relationship this boy put out nobody cares nobody cares nobody nobody cares about what happened to you what trauma you had nobody cares this is you're trying to victimize yourself and use this oh like this this yeah don't worry about my wig yes child anyway like please like please Stop. You in the comments, you're telling your stories about nobody cares. We do not care. We don't care. We don't care. We do not care at all. Like, we don't care. We don't care. We don't. In all actuality, people just want her to show some humility and apologize. Even though it still won't be enough because people will still find a way to make it seem like it's not genuine. But un the undertone of it will show that, okay you have some type of a heart because right now all it looks like no offense to anyone who goes through domestic violence this is just an example right now it just looks like the husband who beats on his wife and then comes home gives her uh, flowers and diamonds with you know no apology you know there's people that support you that misinterpreted it and yes you're rich and da 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 but you know 
you slapping money in people's face because you're quote unquote you have a quote unquote uh nonprofit organization does not it doesn't change how people look at you because you still just can't you know humble yourself and just empathize and just let people know you know that you have crossed the line with how you spoke to the girl on the live but she don't feel like she has to humble herself because she has money that y'all gave her that she could throw in y'all face wipe her ass with and tell y'all to shut the fuck up so i just hope that this shows y'all that y'all faves don't give a shit about y'all i'm only talking about it because it's hot news and in honest in all actuality i feel for people who who that's why i keep apologizing because i know how y'all feel but at the same time i'm not surprised there are certain things i don't expect from celebrities when it comes to humility because their version of humility is money so you know what i mean I hope I didn't come off too harsh. I just hope that people from this situation can understand that and not get too wrapped up in things. And when someone shows you who they are and lets you know how you're broke every day, please believe that they don't give a f about you the way you give a f about them, period. And if anything, she does you know why she doesn't care and the fact that she's not talking about it because she gets paid from her name uh, moving up in the algorithm and certain things like that of course she's gonna let it go out of proportion there's that so i hope y'all well i hope the ari fans can learn from this in my tarot voice but let me know what y'all think in the comments did you feel closer to god when pastor mike todd wiped mucus in his brother face i would have kicked his oh lord take the wheel jesus take the wheel uh how do you feel about joe biden's remarks about mlk are you do i smell a petition of impeaching on the way <laughs> and how do you feel about ari slapping money in domestic violence people's face and not giving them apology that they actually want that's all they really want even if they still gonna you know uh anywho i could be wrong you know so just follow me on Instagram at It's Black Pop. So to talk to be my backup page. And let's get into this next video.